Hey guys, so today is going to be a Q&A video. Um, I apologize about not uploading the last week and a half my parents were in town. It was so nice. I basically kind of didn't even like go on social media at all besides YouTube. I didn't like go on my Twitter or I tried not to very, very little. Visited with my mom and my dad and it was so much fun. Um, and before they actually came, I got my hair cut. So this is very short. I know some people might think it's not short, but for me it's really, really short because my hair before this was like past my boobs. So like, I mean, really, really long. Um, so some people might think this is not short hair, but for me it's definitely short. I might go a little bit shorter. Let me know what you think if I should go a little bit shorter. I also went a little bit darker with the color. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but like underneath it's a lot darker. It was like really, gold and I didn't like that so we just made it a little bit darker um, and then on top um, there's quite a bit of darkness really all she did like the only place she actually put bleach was right in the front like where my bangs are and the rest she just kind of left it so I really like it let me know what you guys think do you like it should I go shorter should I keep it how it is I don't know I'm really excited about it though and I'm not wearing nail polish today I just realized that I asked for questions on my Instagram and my snapchat so I'm gonna do a little bit of both in today's video. What is your favorite nail polish or nail polish brand? My favorite nail polish, that was Rosie by the way. My favorite nail polish brand would be Essie and the color would be Bikini Sotini. Hi, I'm wondering what some of your favorite healthy snacks or drinks are, love you. Love you too. <laughs> My healthy favorite snack, let's see, I have so many. I absolutely love Mama Chia drinks. That's honestly like a snack for me. It has so much omegas in it. It has all of the chia seeds. I love it so much. Actually, one of my favorite things for lunch currently, now this might be something that you hate, but I love doing just like pure white uh, tuna with mustard on it instead of using like mayonnaise, which most people will put like mayonnaise in like a tuna sandwich. I just use mustard and nothing else. Um, it's so good, you get your protein, and it's very good for you. Of course, Kind Bars, I can never get enough Kind Bars. Dark chocolate cherry is my favorite. Hi, I was wondering what's your favorite and least favorite type of videos to make? My favorite and least favorite kind of videos to make, my favorite would be talking videos, kind of like what I'm doing now, just because I like to kind of feel like a connection. My least favorite would be makeup tutorials. I do love when I'm all done with them and you guys really seem to like them, especially like the chit chatty ones. Actually, I shouldn't say makeup tutorials. I love doing like the chit chat get ready with me's because I get to talk to you guys a lot. Um, it's just, they're more difficult to film in a sense that I feel like the makeup sometimes doesn't portray on camera like how it would actually look in real life, especially if there's like lighting washing me out. So it just gets a little bit annoying. Okay. If you could eat one food for a whole week, what would it be? And if you could live anywhere around the world, where would you go? Okay, love you too. Um, if I could eat one food for a whole week, uh, I'd probably gain 20 pounds, but it would have to be like pizza and french fries and ranch. Hell yeah. Um, and if I could live anywhere, was that the question? I would probably live in London. Jenny, I was wondering if when you were a kid or a teen, um, did you ever have braces? Uh, I love you. Bye. I love you too and you're beautiful. Um, I did have braces. I had it for about maybe a year. It wasn't that long compared to like a lot of my friends that had braces, um, but I did have them and I didn't mind them honestly. Um, you look beautiful with your braces on by the way, but I didn't mind them, but I did have them and they eventually come off, so it's awesome. Why did you stop filming nail art for beginners? Oh, she's from Costa Rica. I didn't stop filming nail art for beginners. It's just been a while, but that is going to be one of my next videos. Probably not the very next one, but the one after that. And then I am going to get back and doing them. Uh, get back to doing them once a month. Uh, I just feel like a lot of you guys like aren't into my nail videos anymore. That's how I feel. I don't know if it's true or not, but this is how I've felt lately. Just want to ask you, what's your biggest inspiration quote? Love you. Love you too. My biggest inspirational quote, or I guess it's just my favorite quote, would be, anything worth doing is worth doing right. I love that quote. I don't know where it's from. It's just something that I've always kind of put towards my life. Like, instead of just anything worth doing, like, do it right the first time, because if you don't do it, if you don't give it your all the first time, or if you go the cheaper route, you're just going to 
spend more time and more money and eventually have to do it the right way anyway. Like it could be with anything in life, like anything worth doing. If you're going to do something in life, just do it, like do it right the first time. I don't know. I just like that quote. This is a really random question, but when you open a Snapchat, do you read the caption first or do you look at the picture first? I always look at the picture first or the video first. Um, and then if it's not like a super quick one, then I'll read whatever the person wrote. Hi Jenny, I was wondering if you played any sports growing up. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh my god. Angela Garvin. Um, did I play any sports? Not really. I did track though. I did track in middle school. Um, but other than that, I really didn't. I was always like hounded by all of the coaches because I'm like 5'10". So they all wanted me to play basketball and soccer and everything. But I just wasn't into it. I regret that completely now. Like if I could go back to middle school, high school, I would try and do as many sports as I could. So now I think I'm gonna go to Instagram questions because there are quite a few of those. A lot of the first questions are people asking me if I can tell you guys about my collab and my project. Can I announce it yet? I can't announce it yet, but I think within the next like couple of weeks, I'll be able to at least show you like a sneak peek behind the scenes video, which is super exciting. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I do have something coming out, a product, um, that's gonna be in stores nationwide, which is crazy. So um, yeah, I can tell you shortly, I believe. So I'll keep you updated on that. M underscore Bavero wants to know if you and Frankie were to get a pet, what would it be and what would you name it? We've already discussed this to death, me and Frankie have. We definitely want a Shiba Inu, or as Frankie likes to call it, a Shibu. <laughs> um, but we definitely want a Shiba Inu. Um, I don't know what we would name it. Definitely something like Japanese, maybe Goku. I'm not entirely sure. Is Brittany Scott wants to know, when are you moving back to California so we can be best friends? That is so sweet. Um, I love you too. She said love you. Um, I don't know when we're moving back there, but I'll be visiting there very soon. So I will let you know when I'm back in California. I'm going to try and do a meetup of some sort. Leah wants to know, if you had kids, what would you name them? Name them? I don't know what I would name them. I feel like the, my, it's something I think about all the time. I don't know why, because I'm not like planning to have kids right now, but I do think about names. I want like a kind of unique name. But then I'm also attracted to like very common names. Like I love the name Charlie for a boy. I like the name Molly for a girl. Um, I like names that end with like E, like Jenny, Frankie, Charlie, Molly, I don't know. I like basic names like that, but then I also love like more creative names, so who knows. Ashley Seb wants to know, what is your favorite video on YouTube? That's hard. I was actually by Casper Lee. Um, if you don't know who he is, I'm sure you guys do. He's like world famous, I think he's like famous outside of YouTube, but one of them is actually one of his first videos he ever, he ever uploaded it, and I think it's called Mom. I'm not sure, I think it's called Mom, um, but it's it doesn't even like, it doesn't go with his channel, like it's not a video that would represent his channel well for like what he's famous for doing, but it's one of the sweetest videos. I think it's only like 50 seconds long. I'll link it below. You have to go watch it if you're a Casper fan. Maybe you've never even seen it because it's so old. Um, but it just touches my heart. Like, it's just so sweet. It, it, I can't explain it. It's just a sweet little video. It's very short. Go watch it. Um, I also really, really love Denver the Dog. That video is a video that I never get sick of watching. If you've never seen it, I'll link that one below. Basically, it's a dog that just gets in trouble for eating. I'll link it below. It's so cute. But those are like my favorite two videos that, on the top of my head. I catch Kenny wants to know who are my favorite YouTubers. I have so many favorite YouTubers. Um, I think I love Tiffany D. She's probably one of my all time favorites. I love Fleur de Force. I've said Fleur before. I really, really like her. I love Rach Loves. I love, I don't know. I feel like I'm more attracted to watching people like who are just kind of like talking to the camera in their videos more so than like constantly putting on like little shows and things like that. I don't know if that even makes sense, but I just love to watch like my favorite girls sitting and talking to the camera, kind of like I'm doing right now. Like I just love that kind of video. I love that like easy style of video. Um, and I feel like those girls that I mentioned do a lot of those. Julia Salomon wants to know, what is my favorite makeup brand? I know a lot of you would expect me to say Tarte, but I have to say like Tarte is Definitely not my favorite anymore. I've just, it's not that I don't like Tarte. I obviously use the brand a lot. I just don't love it like I used to for many reasons that I'm not gonna even say. Um, but I think my favorite brand would probably be like Makeup Forever. It's a really good quality makeup. Kelly Simmons says, hi Jen, do you plan on living in Tucson forever? Or do you want to move to Scottsdale or somewhere else in the future? So I actually don't live in Tucson right now. We are living in Phoenix. 
um, and I really really love it here it's awesome I don't know if I'll stay here forever um, but I really do like it here a lot. Sydney Fina, have you seen any Broadway shows? Do you like theater? By the way, hi Sydney, I see you all the time on my Twitter and Instagram and stuff. Um, yes, I have been to quite a few Broadway shows. My favorite is probably Wicked. I really love, um, what else did I see? What was it? Um, Beauty and the Beast. That one was so good. Um, I think I actually like Beauty and the Beast better than Wicked, but they're both good. Ali of Everton, what's your favorite TV show currently? Now, Game of Thrones just started. I'm so confused. Do you watch that? If you do, we need to like Twitter, tweet me when it's on. I'm so confused, like why they didn't really touch on Jon Snow that much. Like, there's no way he's dead. Like, I just don't believe it. That's what The Walking Dead. Watching Fear the Walking Dead right now, but it's not as good as The Walking Dead. It's kind of like the cheesy version of it. I don't know. Um, and then I'm also excited about Big Brother starting soon. Well, not soon, but I mean relatively soon. Handbag Lust wants to know, what's your ultimate handbag dream purchase that you haven't bought yet? Oh, that's so hard. I feel like I own all the bags that I want to own just because I don't, I'm not like a fan of a lot of really popular bags out there. Like, I really don't like anything by Givenchy. I really don't like the Celine bags. I don't like, I don't know, I love, oh, Fendi. Maybe a Fendi Peekaboo. I would really love a Fendi Peekaboo, but the small one, not the micro, but the mini. I think it's like three grand. I would love one of those. Um, so that's probably like on my wish list right now. Also, I think a medium flap Chanel in lambskin, black lambskin with gold hardware, shiny gold hardware. I would love to own that bag as well. Von Schinger, if you could change your hair color, what would you change it to? I would love to be like platinum, platinum, bleach blonde because I feel like I actually look really, really good with bright blonde hair. It's just so damaging, um, but I would love to have that kind of hair color again. It's just I would rather have soft, hair then and it'd be darker than have bleach blonde hair and it'd be like fried and breaking and stuff so I've kind of made the decision to stay like somewhat light but have my hair be healthy I'm more concerned about the integrity of my hair than the color these days so but I would love to be bleach blonde again but 216 are you going to sell anything on your jewelry shop I love you yes I haven't sold anything probably in like six months or so I've been selling a couple things through email um, like I made this necklace that I'm wearing right now and the gold layered necklace I've been getting so many emails I haven't been able to keep track so I just figured I'm not gonna even mention that again until I have it up on the store but the store is just kind of it's there I turned okay I turned the fat box into a blog because I think I want to start blogging on there rather than polish and pearls don't ask me why, I just like that name better, I think. Um, and then there's also, but there's now a shop link at the top of the blog that you can click on and it'll take you to the Fat Box store. Um, so I am gonna start doing jewelry again, just at a low key pace. I just, I need to get my, my stuff together first. Like Garcia, do you visit Mexico often because it's super close, besos? Um, Melly, no, I actually have never even been to Mexico, which is crazy because Arizona like borders Mexico. Um, I've never been there, but I love Mexico like well I've never been but I mean I love the Mexican culture. I love Mexican people. I love Mexican food. There's just it's a very um, We have like a lot of Mexican culture in Arizona um, So I love it. Um, the people are so friendly so amazing and I would love to go there I just don't know when or anything but thank you for the question. Makeup Mommy84 wants to know how my thyroid levels are. Um, actually, I think they're okay right now. I actually have to go get more blood work soon because it's been a while. I'm supposed to go every month to get my blood taken and it's been like four months and I feel fine, but I'm thinking they might be a little bit off. So we'll see, I'll keep you updated. Michaela L11, what would you do if YouTube wasn't a thing? Um, you were the first YouTuber I watched. Love you. That is so sweet. If YouTube wasn't a thing, I think I would just be a cosmetologist. That's what I went to school for. I'd probably be working in a salon somewhere. I don't really know. Or I'd probably be like a housewife. When I was really young, that was like my goal in life to just like get married and take care of my children and be at home. And But then I realized I have expensive taste and I needed to buy shit for myself. So I started to work hard for it. And yeah, if YouTube wasn't a thing, I'd probably just be working at a salon or something. Hey Monkey14, how do you react when you became famous on YouTube? I don't think I'm famous on YouTube, like, at all. Like, I see myself as a smaller YouTuber. Yeah, there's a large subscriber amount there, but I still feel like, I don't know, I, for some reason I just feel like I'm not a big YouTuber. Because, I mean, the big YouTubers get, like, millions of views every single video. That's in my... I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, what do you consider... I know I'm a successful YouTuber, which is amazing and it's like it's like winning the lottery honestly like when you can do YouTube as your full-time job but 
I don't see myself as like a famous YouTuber. I've gotten noticed quite a bit like out and about, but I still don't feel like I'm a famous YouTuber. Kim loves food. What do you think of Beyonce's Lemonade? Maybe I'm like the only person who hasn't like listened to it. I tried to watch the special on HBO, but I just couldn't get into it. I was confused. And plus I think there was another show on at the time that I really wanted to watch. So don't kill me if you're, if you're a Beyonce fan. I love Beyonce too. Although the whole fact that she got cheated on and she's still with Jay-Z, what? Like I know she has a baby and they're a family, but she's fucking Beyonce. And honestly, he is like not that attractive to me. Why would she stay with him? Like, you're fucking Beyonce. You can drop dead gorgeous. He had sex with somebody else. Like I just couldn't. But I think I'm gonna end it here because the video says it's already at 25 minutes. So I'm gonna try and cut some of this video down so it's not so long, but thank you guys so much for all of your questions. If you'd like to ask me questions for my next Q&A, make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Sometimes I'll ask on Twitter, but that's mainly where I ask for your questions. You can follow me, they're all at Jenny Claire Fox. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you soon.